Welcome back. Welcome home, yeah, guys. We're guys. Back. Guys. I'm excited. Come on in. Pull up a seat. It's another day. It's another week at the You Are Here podcast. And we're feeling. We're feeling so good. Okay. We got our whole bodies out. And we're feeling good. I'm going to get on the pod and talk it up. Wow. Shit. See that, bro? dude? I I haven't seen this in you in you in a while. This really, energy. yeah, a little energy, man. Starting the pot with the energy. I'm gonna bring it up, man. Here we go. You know what I heard? Ask me a question. Tell me a thing. How many weeks do you think you live in like a lifetime? Oh, wait, is it four thousand? Yeah, I just heard that around stuff. there. Me that's, too. That's weird. Me too. What the hell? Why is everyone hearing this? Because we're is this? Hold up now. Now you're breaking my whole reality. <laughs> Because I thought I was like, man, 4,000 4, weeks, really? I got to lock in, man. You know, that's what I thought. It was true. And now, now it's like, oh, the simulation is just like it, in feeding this in so everyone feels it for well, some reason. It's still true. It is true. Like roughly. You're right. But see, that's me. I'm crazy. So 4,000 weeks doesn't sound like a lot to me. If we put a stack of pap- papers, of 4,000 sheets of paper, yeah, and every week you just take one now. Yeah. Think about how that fast. That sounds so sad. How fast do your weeks go? Oh, man. Doesn't it feel like it just starts, like our week just started It's and it's over. Sunday comes and you're like, yeah. wait, yeah. did I just work the whole week away? Yeah. I feel like I had two moments all week. Yeah. That's how fast they Me get. too. It's That's scary. That's bad. That's bad. So 4,000 of those roughly. Like 4,000 is a like number you can really like see in your mind. Yeah. Like, and it's then not think that how big. many you lived already. Ugh. How many papers are gone off the pile? <sighs> Whoosh. Would you want to know the day you die? Like, like, so you knew it was coming. You knew exactly. Like, like we have a rough estimate if we stay healthy. No. If we, yeah. yeah. Because I feel like I'd be like always like, oh, I can maybe I do something else to like, hopefully not get to that point right. and always worry about it. Yeah, you know? yeah, it'd be at the forefront yeah. of your mind all the time. What does it actually mean to like? We've been saying a lot of this like living in the moment and stuff. Like, yeah. What does that actually mean? It's a great question. I'll tell you my interpretation. Yeah. Uh, living in the moment. Hey, career coaching, guys. You're out of college. Think about it. You don't know what to do. You sent all your resumes. No one's calling back. You're we little like, man, no one wants me. <laughs> what are you going to do? Who, where are you going to go? Your resume might be shot. You might need someone to tell you what you got to do, how you got to approach this thing to be successful. And we got the guy for you. His name is Coach O at ohagancareercoaching.com. He's going to get you right. He's going to get you straight. He has a networking package right now. He's going to talk to you all about LinkedIn. It's like, uh, I think, 100 bucks, right? Yeah, 150. 150. Um, and he's got a whole like hour session, I believe. Man, I should have this stuff. <laughs> it's okay. It's yeah, okay, bro. It's on the website. But it's on the, it's on the screen, actually. But yeah, look, he's going to brush you up on LinkedIn. It's one of the most important tools right now um, that you could use to be getting a job getting more connected, networking. It's all about who you know, right? And you're also exposed and everyone to his hears network. that. You're Every- also exposed to his network. 100%. Yeah, man. He's got, he just showed me a, a few successes. Yeah. Too. Recently. This started he, like two weeks ago. He's got proof, man. Yeah. Um, and he's a great guy. Uh, go to HaydenCareerCoaching.com and start winning. Win. Anytown, ActorsLive.com, guys. Acting, it's like a dying art form. It is. Dude, it's I'm going to be real. Out. It's sad. Yeah. Some movies I watch, I get really sad. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. You know, these people that just are not living truthfully under imaginary circumstances. They're phoning it Bob in. Boom. They call it phoning, phoning it in. Phoning it in. That's yeah. that's a legit term. Yeah. So let's say well, we're going to throw you at anytownactorslive.com. Mm-hmm. Adam Louder in the Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas area. He's going to teach you how to act. He's going to give you the tools, the tools to put in your tool belt so that when you're about to do an audition, let's mm-hmm. say, you actually ace that. You know? That's right. What's like a tool he's going to give you? Man, just just how to uh, analyze a script. Like, mm. you know, as an Huge. actor, you got to know how to analyze the story that you're given. You got to know what you're doing in a scene, moment to moment. You got to know what character you're playing. Yeah. Who is the person you're playing? What is What are the qualities? But he's going to walk you through all of it. Characterization, character development, the, uh, the, the, the analysis of a script. How to just live truthfully moment to moment in a, in a given circumstance. Yeah, bro. Doors and activity. There's, there's a lot to be learned. There's a lot to be learned at any town actors lab. And also has a, a really quick uh, free consultation, uh, free TikTok. Start learning just straight up. He's giving it away. Yeah. Um, but if you want more, definitely sign up for a course. Anytownactorslab.com. And Patreon members, thank you so much. Patreon.com slash you were here podcast, guys. Oh, yeah.
oh, yeah. extra content, extra fun, <laughs> more money for us. It's a triple win. It win everyone triple wins. Triple win. Everyone wins. Everyone wins. Yeah. It's good for the economy. Um, thank you guys so much. We Do love the you. Trump. It's good for the economy. Patreon, <laughs> it's amazing. These people, they can help you whenever, wherever. It's amazing. <laughs> Patreon, like I your podcast. That was great. <laughs> Living in the moment is when I am no longer, time does not exist. Time is gone. There is no time. There is what is, what is pouring into me from, from outside and what I am letting go of in, in that specific space. Mm. Now, to contract you. Please. Um, Contrast, contrast. So when I'm contradict, when I'm playing contradict a, is the word. Contradict. When I'm playing a game for three hours and I forget the time. <laughs> are you in the moment? I'm, I'm in the moment. In a way. I mean, technically. Yeah. You are still there. Yeah. You're still. You forgot the time. Yeah. But I think like that's that's the thing I keep running into is is it does does that, does that mean that there's certain things that aren't as good as like a moment? That's great. That's a great you question. Know? And that kind of. Is messing with my mind because it's like truly if you're enjoying right if you're living life and like enjoying what you're doing isn't that okay what if you enjoy heroin i heard heroin's great yeah me too <laughs> um <laughs> is that bad a little heroin how about maybe it's like more of i don't know is it more about like being in the moment with other people Great is that worth too. more is that more value i hate the like putting value on stuff like that i th yeah I, I guess it's case by case it's, it's yeah. how you feel some people feel value being solitary yeah. doing things that they like to do in solitude you're looking at them yeah and there's nothing wrong with that you're looking at the solo rider bro yeah there's nothing wrong with that i think it's just who you are as a person yeah i feel like we're born certain ways and we like certain we like to do things a certain way like we're we're wired a certain way yeah and maybe some people like yourself are more wired to experience those quality moments not all the time but most of the time you enjoy them when you're alone yeah as opposed to like with a group or with a couple of people or with a person yeah but i guess like if it's things are kind of limited to if you're alone like the more things you can experience you know yeah you can experience a lot more of other people oh yeah yeah, yeah you can share with other people and i yeah. think that that's that's a sad sad life if you don't get the opportunity to share. yeah to share yeah dude that's I true i was thinking do you do you ever uh if you, if you can never meet another person again would you be happy with the quality of people you've met oh i just broke his brain <laughs> brain's broken no you wouldn't be happy with the quality mm. oh, that's so ah. <laughs> that's not like a knock Right? On the people I know. <laughs> I mean, I'm hurt, but go ahead. No, no but I'm like, just go, ahead. go ahead. Once you have a kid, you're never going to come up to me and stuff, you know? What? Or you can't. Can't always. What do you mean? Like, okay, dude. With all the people I know, <laughs> most people I know are married or like all this stuff. It's like, if I'm going to be alone, then that's not good. I got to find like another person. Then, I'll, then I'd probably be like, you'd be satisfied. Uh, I'd be satisfied. Got you. Yeah. You know? So to find like a soulmate, yeah, like a partner. Probably. I'd yeah. have to do that. Up, and until then, you'd cap it. then you'd yeah. be okay capping yeah the uh the number of people or the quality I think so. of person yeah met. right on why do you, reasonable right i think it's super reasonable why do you think it's important to do you think it's important to share yeah of course why <laughs> <laughs> and, and in a like give me a specific from your life i think for me is like i am in constantly in the process of sharing because sharing is like, okay, maybe I'm not sharing everything with other people, but like taking in things. I'm like, we're constantly always taking in stuff from other people, whether it's me, like art, especially is like my favorite thing that is shared probably, you know? So taking in music, every movies, everything, like that's my favorite thing. So I'm like an ultimate one sided share, taking the sharing. <laughs> so you're a receiver. I love when people share. You're, you're, you're a receiver yeah. for, from shares from others. 100%. How about sharing yourself with others uh that's do you probably, think it's important yeah maybe <laughs> no i yeah I, we can yeah. figure it out no yeah definitely 
Yeah. In certain, yeah. And, well, you're always sharing. If like we're sharing right now, you know yes. what I mean? Like when you come to contact with other people, you share. So yeah, it is. There can't be like an exchange without it. Mm. You know? Yeah. I mean, are there, there, I guess there are certain artists that like are in solitude, right? And it make like amazing things. Yeah, I you mean, know? they do. Um, but there's, it becomes like full circle once it's shared, right? Well, the Marina Abramovich lady, you remember her? She's an artist. She sat in the mo in the vet or the MoMA or whatever it is. Yes. And she had a line of people that it, her exhibit was people come and sit down on a chair across from her and do whatever. And they just they just look at her. Oh, okay. And the whole thing was about eye contact and the ex I guess the experience people were having by just it was just eye contact. I mean, that's what it, they okay. there was no speaking. Like she I didn't. There speak. was another. Like, actually, just keep going about. She that. didn't speak once. Yeah. And I don't think she spoke once, but. And I, some people went and they were like, this is weird. Some people went and they sat for like 20 seconds and they're like, can't do this. Because she's just like middle-aged woman just sitting there staring at me. Like, I don't like it. No. And then some people, I guess, engaged and like sat and just stared, stared, stared. And eventually there was like moments of like sharing, but no words. So it doesn't, I guess, require words to share with people. It, it requires time spent attention given and intention to share mm. and then there was like some kind of like either cathartic emotional experience would happen between the two of them and they'd it'd be like mirrored you know one person would kind of see something in the other and then that person would mirror it like with a response that was similar there'd be, there'd be connecting but there'd be no words so humans are kind of interesting when it comes to that. I always find that the most interesting. Mm. It's like behavior. I just feel like, yeah, there's there's a, I don't know. It's hard, it's hard to, I, I'm fighting this, but it's hard to get burned by people sometimes and then still try to see inherent good in people, like qualities you really enjoy about people. Yeah. It is a difficult task, I think, the older you get. Yeah. I think it's very important to do it. And I think to not lose that belief that, like, just because you got hurt by somebody doesn't mean that they're all bad. Mm. And you can't trust them anymore. It's like a good fight to fight. It's to still hold on to a, a kernel of belief that, like, there's good in that human that you just got to dig around and you can you can offer time and attention to and open up you know mm. and 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 have faith that something good is going to occur yeah. between you it's a hard fight but i think it's a really important fight cuz then we we get cold and like callous and brittle and nasty man yeah and that's when bad things happen yeah you know when you when you lose that belief that you know everyone sucks mm. this world's going to shit no one i don't mm. believe in nothing we're, we're screwed. Then, you know, you know, what's the point? Yeah. That's, yeah. Why, that's when we're talking to people sometimes and they're going off and we're like, yeah, I think you're losing that, yeah, that, but, that but, little belief, man. Yeah. Got to water that seed. Mm. I just sat and watched the, not sat, but I was, I think I was, I think I was driving or something. Kid and a dad holding his son's hand. There's beauty in that. There's that, that, that if I sit and I just look for a second, that father would do anything for that little boy. That boy looks at that father like God on earth. That's love. Like that is a beautiful quality. That exists in our world today. Mm. So I got to like look more at these moments and, and absorb them and allow them to land instead of like, let's get out of the walkway. Like I got to go. I got to get to work. You know? Yeah. That's how I perceive it. Mm. I don't know. This is something I was thinking about. Yeah. Got to fight that good fight. Yeah. It's like all those, I don't know. I feel like we have like the choice of every single thing that happens to us throughout the whole day is like, we could just see the beauty in it yeah. instead of like what it could mean to how it can affect me when like, it doesn't even have anything to do with me half the time. Um, yeah. I feel like it's better to make that kind of choice or be like more mindful of the choice. Yeah. 
I also saw a video <laughs> that, um, you know, I saw a video of a guy just. <laughs> oh, no. I'm afraid of Like a father. <laughs> Do I go on Twitter? Twitter's crazy. Twitter's insane. We all know. I go on. There's this guy in a truck. There's uh, It's in Oregon, Portland, Oregon. Did you see this video? No. Oh, my goodness. A guy man. in a truck. Oh. Should we pull it up? Um, no. I'll explain a little bit and we'll explain, see. Yeah, explain. He, there, there's a parade, a flower parade in Oregon they do. Okay. Like in, in Portland. They do it all the time, every year or whatever. <laughs> the video starts, the guy is, the well, exit's closed off. Most of the town's I have closed seen off. This video. You saw it? Is the loud music going while he's driving? 100%. Dude. So explain the video to people that have listened. He's, <laughs> he, he's, he sees the egg because on the phone of his wife and his wife's like nah, nah, nah. everything's closed <laughs> everything's done the the guy, wife. The, and for some i don't know if the guy like took the car out and wasn't supposed to or something like that <laughs> but he hangs up he sees the exits closed that he needs and he's like cursing like god I, and then he opens the window he's like fuck you screw you <laughs> like going off on just these workers just just like just yeah. going insane he keeps working. going next exit blocked off again he just rolls up full on on the side of the fucking <laughs> exit on like a like a slanted John grass Rose just going Greece lightning yeah. and the the country like that new age country like <laughs> music playing that's just like dude he's jacked. like country trap no he's jacked up on that music. he's on something bro yeah he's jacked up on a lot of things yeah definitely the music a lot and of a lot of self-doubt a lot of like yeah insecurity yeah and he's vaping throughout it <laughs> and it's like bro a lot of addiction you, issues. Yeah. holy crap man. yeah yeah but he rides up that ramp and just just dude floors it through the parade first i saw like a minute video, long video like sped up and everything then the full video came out i was like okay let's watch this shit <laughs> he does that all the way home that loses the cops he does loses the cops they didn't get him nope they just gave up on him. what i, I don't know what happened he was, he was rolling through people rolling through all this shit i saw that somehow loses the cops gets home dude he had a good playlist. gets home he had a good playlist i don't want to be the one to say i didn't it. like it <laughs> That's your shit. <laughs> he rolled straight, and he was like That's speeding, terrible. and he rolled straight into his like driveway, and just like got out. And That's was, like, so the cops got him later. After yeah, like a day later or something, wow. like thirty three counts, <laughs> <laughs> just life <laughs> in jail. Like you're screwed. Well, that's what you get. You got to pay Insanity, the piper, bro. Sanity, man. All what would make from you do that. All from like the exit being closed. But you you see what I mean? It's like yeah. it's we see that snapshot, but he's got. <laughs> Like so much going on before that that leads to that moment <laughs> where he just so part in the middle where the cops up right next to him on the motorcycle, and the cops like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> and he's like, "I'm trying to leave." <laughs> <laughs> you went through the parade. You're about to kill someone. Wow! I seen it's him almost insane. hit people, and I was like, yeah, "Dude, yeah, yeah." I heard screaming, just going over cones. Dude, <laughs> like, that guy was nuts <laughs> in a pickup oh, truck, man. No, that man, was terrifying, man. dude. That was terrifying. Yeah. But like 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 I I'm glad like I don't think I'll get to that point. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Everyone's capable though. Like yesterday? Tell me. Oh my goodness. Tell me. I was going home and for some reason one person like I usually don't get pissed off, but it's one guy's I'm I'm on the exit back going back to my house, getting off the highway. And our the exit, I don't know if you know it, but it's basically like a one lane exit, but it's very wide. So uh -huh. people make two lanes because there's three is. ways to go. Yeah, I know what it is. You know, and people, they know, so they make the room for both. He, and there's a lot of space to know, like, oh, see it and be like, okay. Yeah. Person in front of me cuts me off to get into into the exit. And then once I'm you like, make I'm, like I'm like, okay, strike one. <laughs> and then starts going. He's just in the middle, sees the whole thing open. It goes to the left. I'm about to go around. He just goes in, back into the middle. And I'm like, okay, strike two. And... I'm like waiting, waiting. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to beep or nothing. I'm just going to keep going. Finally get to the end and still to, all the way till he just goes straight. Yeah. Like just the most like rude, just not considerate like action. I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm going to leave. No problem. I go right. <laughs> I'm at the stop sign. There's a, a lady in a G-Wagon in front of me. G-Wagon? I already hate you. <laughs> Sorry. Lady is. Passing judgment. Lady is there. Stop sign. Only car there. I'm right behind her. Sitting there. 10 seconds pass. 
I'm like, let me see how long. 20 seconds pass. No. I beep. I hold down the beep. 30 seconds pass. No. I'm like, okay. I <laughs> reverse, go around. And I look, I'm just, I'm just looking at her like. <laughs> the look is my favorite. And she's just like looking at her phone and shit. I'm like, bro, what are we doing? Like, there's no way two in a row. Like that, I was about, to, is, I was about to flip out. That's a lot. I was about to flip out. That's a lot, bro. You know. That there's moments I just I to myself I'm like what is wrong with the world <laughs> you know like as I'm going home dude yeah yeah I'm, this happened today <laughs> and you're not gonna believe this story <laughs> you're not gonna believe it I re- I didn't make this up I swear to God <laughs> I yesterday I, and and the only reason this is a good story is because I went to church yesterday I'm, I'm I feel like spiritually good I'm in, like in a good place I go to I'm going to my other job. On the way, I'm like, I got to get coffee. I slept like six hours. I'm tired. I want a cup of coffee. I stop at Quick Check. Love Quick Check. I walk into Quick Check. Yo, I love Quick Check too. Quick Check's one of my favorite spots. Shout out. And it's a big one, a new one. It's nice. Walk into Quick Check and I go to the back because I see the iced coffee things are in the back. Like the, the nitros and the little one-shot deals and whatever. I don't buy the Starbucks stuff. I buy the other stuff. Yes. Fuck that. Quick Check off. Quick check coffee is actually good. No shout out. I like it. No shout out. Quick Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, shout out. Quick check. I go to the that part of the freezer. There's a tall skinny dude and then two of his cronies, right? <laughs> and they're just kind of like chatting, whatever. And I'm and I'm coming down the aisle on the left, and they're kind of turn their backs towards me a little bit, and they're chatting amongst each other, so they don't see me. So I'm like I'm creeping in. I'm trying to get in front of the thing. They're kind of in front of it, so I'm kind of creeping in. I don't want to disturb them, so I'm trying to like, oh, I'm going to take this one, I think. As I'm looking at what I'm about to purchase, this like nice blue bottle of coffee, I hear rip, rip, like that, like a like a fart, right? And like right on my leg, like like right here, <laughs> you know? And I And I am like, no. And I turn, and they see me. And they just start giggling amongst each other. And I'm blood red, man. <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm so mad I could like smell their like pores. I could smell like their skin, dude. I'm so mad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm watching everything. So like, he farted on you? He farted on me. But he didn't know he was going to do it. And then he just farted he didn't around it. know. This is what I believe. This yeah. is what I believe. And this is the way I took it. Yeah. He was doing it for his buddies. Yeah. He didn't see me come down the aisle. And I snuck in being quiet. And he farted to make his friends laugh. But he was farting on me. And so I got blood red mad. I think that makes you gay. <laughs> That's fine. I got blood red mad. And I said to myself, I felt old Dave creep in. Oof. And I just watched them. And they're laughing amongst each other like it's funny. And the tall skinny kid points to the fart kid. Like, it was him. <laughs> it was him, not me. It was him. And they're giggling. And the other kid, the fart kid won't look at me. And they just start walking away down the aisle giggling. And I go, okay. Quick thought. I can follow them down the aisle. Yeah. Confront them. Yeah. And reprimand them like yeah. an old man. Yeah. And say, hey, guys. Don't fart on me. Don't fart on people. It's not funny. And grow up. Yeah. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah. What I did was I watched them go down the aisle. I took a breath. I opened the thing. I got my coffee. <laughs> closed the thing. And I paid. There we go. I saw him at the front there again. There we go. I didn't say anything. I looked at him a little bit. Nothing happened. Breathe. Bought mm. it. I'm out the door. And I went on with my day. There we go. That's grace. That's grace. I got farted yeah. on. And I forgave. Yeah, I mean, if you like, let's and that's you a get, true story. Let's say you get into an altercation, and you go to jail because someone farted on you. That's possible. That's crazy. No, but that's possible. That's if you're that and guy. And that happens. That's if you become that guy. You know, I'm that guy. I'm just as bad yeah. as that guy. Yeah. So. Yeah, good. I'm. I'm glad, dude. You got farted on. <laughs> I forgave, dude. <laughs> and that's real. That happened today. Yeah. You know, dude. When you, I don't know. Oh, we were all fucking kids, man. That's what I thought too. Right? We were all young. And we were all dumb and trying to be stupid yeah. and funny. They were like 20. Yeah. You know? Giggling. We with used each to other. be racist. 
What? No, we weren't. What? <laughs> I like throwing you off. That's sometimes. your your podcast. <laughs> I like throwing you off. Two ninety five. It's the last episode of the I podcast. I love throwing you off sometimes, man. <laughs> don't sometimes go, I got to throw you off. Don't you know? go on our old Facebook Sometimes accounts. I got to throw you off. Oh, hey, why'd you even say that? <laughs> don't say that. Don't say that at all. Um, Mikey. Mikey. Um, <laughs> all I'm saying is, no, you know what? I'm proud of you for not. Thanks, uh, dude. You, you've changed, man. It's obvious. You've, you've definitely changed. Thanks. Remember, I remember the days of, of Dave yeah. being red. I haven't felt that in a long time. I've been asked by God yeah. to forgive people. Yeah. To see them with love in my eyes. God would want you to be farted on. He would want he he set it up. How about that? That's crazy. <laughs> he wanted me to learn That's something. That's messed up, guys. Maybe it's that. Do Maybe that. it's that. Maybe I needed to be humble. Damn. But uh Damn. not I, but <laughs> him through me, I forgave that fart. There we go. Uh yeah, but I just wanna I just wanna be a better person, man. And yeah. I think that to forgive is divine. That is, yeah, yeah. People fuck up all the time, and then it, it's up to you. You have the grace in your heart and in your being to take on a little thing like a fart, or like a bigger thing like a like a transgression, like a real one, like getting cheated on or getting whatever. Someone yeah. stealing from you. You have it in you to take the debt. Yeah, to swallow it. It's uh, you. You accept that. But that's on you. You you can either carry that weight. Dude, how about this? How about this? Mm. Lay it on. Do you ever feel like you're carrying weight around all the time? Yeah. You ever have that feeling? Yeah. And you're like, why do I beat myself up like this? Why do I choose to carry around all this luggage all the time? These ankle weights. Why do I uh, why do I strap them on every morning? <laughs> you ever feel that way, really? Yeah, I do. Some people I think are, we we just through whatever situations we've been through, we believe in our hearts, we don't deserve to feel good about ourselves every day. So we tell ourselves terrible things or we feel certain ways about ourselves or we believe the other things people said about us and we just carry it forever. Yeah. Or even just like, you know, the 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 like labels that society has for like you like you the person like your the way you look everything you have and like what you do your job your everything mm -hmm. like that all holds shit you know yeah and you have to take that on and you have to like be like oh i'm this you know and like people say that's like mediocre or not or it isn't or it is it's like it's so much preloaded shit that you have to wake up to yeah. and live through every day yeah to be like oh yeah i'm gonna get somewhere else you know and that's gonna be better it's not gonna be better it's gonna be the same shit yeah do you think do you think you deserve to feel good? Yeah. Like just, about that should yourself? just be baseline, dude. It's not a, like we don't have like just baseline happiness. I don't know if anymore, but maybe like as kids we, we, we did kind of, mm. you know, but yeah, I don't know. Just a lot of, it's, you're right. It's like this baggage you put on every day. But why do we do it? Why don't we choose to not do it? Because it's like a responsibility, man. I don't know. Well, to like carry shit on. But for myself, why why would Dave? Why would I choose to? Like, what's like a baggage you're carrying? Just the f uh, an uh, everyday feeling of this is a feeling. This is just something I like would tell myself. I am not. Let me think. Think about it. Almost a belief that I don't deserve anything. That's my baggage. That's what I think of when I think of myself. I believe that's crazy. Isn't that wild? That's insane. I believe that. Like that's what I carry no. every day. I choose no. to carry that. Tell Stop. me. Stop. What the hell? I just want to beat it out of me. <laughs> I do. Oh, we got a spar, dude. I just beat it I'm out a of spar, me. and every my glove's gonna say, it's gonna say, <laughs> you're. You are worthy. You just be like, bah, 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 bah. No, it's it's the simplest thing to say. Yeah. Hey, you're good. You deserve love. You deserve to feel good about yourself. You have one life, and it's a beautiful one. Yeah. Stop beating yourself up. Do you think though that if you like, you're saying like you don't deserve 
the stuff is like does that mean you have it i already have dude yeah. the truth is i already have everything yeah that's the truth that's the truth mike i swear yeah. to god when i asked you that question before i answered it already i journaled it yeah. i'm good on people yeah i met everyone i need to meet yeah. they're, they're beautiful when i sit and watch if i put each person in a museum yeah. and just th their life and i walked into the mike nowicki museum yeah that mm. hold on let me mm. answer to me i'm good mm. i'm good i've been blessed with with the people that god has put in my life not saying i wouldn't like to see them of course yeah. but i'm satisfied yeah. i've got a beautiful life and i've got beautiful friends i have a beautiful wife people that i really love people that I like i take stock in and i say wow i'm grateful yeah that's real. Dude, I, I think, though, that that is just the human, like, nature of, like, the curiosity of, like, is everything I have right now, like, is that all there is or is this it? Like, so, that's some lizard brain shit. I don't think so. I think that's you're always going to question, like, your surroundings. No? Yeah. I'm. Hold on. Well, just out of curiosity, just, like, yeah. questioning things around me? I don't think you could just... I don't think there's a person on earth that can just be sad, like not satisfied, but just, I don't know, just like, come, like, um, just to feel good about yourself all the time. No, no, I, I think it's more, it's not, I'm not talking about that. Okay. I think, I think, yeah, you could feel like we're like, like you deserve oh, what really? you're given and all this stuff really? like this. But I think in terms of like, five years pass, you know, and you, five years pass and nothing's changed, mm -hmm. you're going to kind of like be like, curious about stuff or like wonder about things right i think you know yeah i guess things like i don't want to say things get old okay but like things if they're stagnant then where are these beings that like are always evolving and moving and aging and like changing right right so like i don't know i think that's that's just kind of what humans are is like we're always gonna question uh i don't know our surroundings mm -hmm. and like want to I don't know, do other things or like figure, like are curious of other things, the curiosity yeah. of those. Yeah. You know? I, hear I don't you. think it's a bad thing. I'm not saying it's like, no, I hear as you. like, a, we can't be okay with who we are, you know? But I think if you are truly, like you're saying, like today, I am so grateful for every single thing I have. And like, if nothing changed in 10 years, I'd still be okay. I don't think that's true. I don't mm, think mm. that can be true. I'll let that land. You know? And I don't know if that's, like a negative thing? I don't think it has to be. Mm. I think it'd be like, like, let's say in 10 years you have a kid. That's like a, the greatest thing ever. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Things are going to be way different. Yeah. You know? You know anything I'm doing? Yeah. I'm like backstopping. What if you're like holding all the like good things, you have all these good things right now. Yeah. And you want to keep things just good. Well, I don't know what you're thinking. This is what I'm thinking. Hmm. The way I see it is I think my life, if I look at my life as it's a gift, then I will be closer to being the version of myself that is to live in gratitude is greater to to live in gratitude, it, it, it just it's greater than to live in want and curiosity for me. Mm -hmm. Grateful curiosity, sure, but grateful. Mm. If I'm grateful for what I've been given and what I've what's been withheld from me, let's say, as I like to believe, and I shall not want. There's nothing I need. Mm. I have it. I have it. If I choose to believe that things are kept from me for a reason, to learn, to grow, to change for the better, um, my quality of life, the way I feel about my days, are going to be more vibrant, more full, more colorful. I'm going to appreciate more. To live with gratitude for me is like, that's A1 of a day. When I'm feeling grateful for, for what I have in my life and what I don't, I don't feel like I don't have it. I don't have. I feel like I just have a ton. So I'm a very rich man. You know, I don't compare. 
I don't, I don't feel a need to impress anybody. You know, I'm in the game now of there. I'm too old to be worried about how you feel about me or how you feel, whatever. I, I don't, I don't concern myself with those thoughts anymore because I would just drive myself nuts trying to be a version of myself that you need me to be. Mm. But if I live in, in a, in a grateful space in a, in a moment to moment space where I have all I need. I am who I am. And I'm doing what I believe I should be doing or, or the opportunity I've been given the best of my ability and sharing and giving away and receiving from others and just being present, being here with you. Then I'm in a good space, man. Mm. Then I don't, I don't hate myself anymore. That's me. This is case by case, but that's Dave. That's me. You've seen me for years chew myself up, bro. I don't know if we're similar in that way or not. Maybe we're a little different, but I I know there's people like me that have a hard time like accepting love, accepting that they're good people, accepting that they deserve to be here, accepting that they're doing the right thing or they're doing their best. I never feel like I'm doing my best when I'm just like hustle, bustle, get to the next step. Oh, man grass is greener over there i never feel like i'm good enough i don't feel grateful for my day and i don't feel like i want to do any more to be honest hmm. but when i'm in a grateful space like i'm good i just want to enjoy this roller coaster that i've been put in that i you know this is all this is all a beautiful ride and i'm just gonna kind of observe and take in and scream out loud on top of my lungs sing songs and just enjoy and dance around the fire man I'm getting artsy fartsy with it, but like that's, it's the closest thing to how I'm trying to live my life with words today. It's its the closest thing. Yeah. Because if I'm looking at it on paper, I don't like it. Mm. It's not enough. If it's just like a spreadsheet, yeah. not enough. Can never do that. No, no, no. You know, my life is not where it should be. That's not the, should be. the way we should even look at it. Yeah. Should life be looked at like a spreadsheet <clears throat> or like a, like a, you're on a ride. Like, I don't know. Depends who you ask. <laughs> Depends on who you ask. We're all different. Yeah. True. For me, I can't. I would not be a model employee of a great business. <laughs> I would. I'd be like the dude that got fired already. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, I agree with that, man. I do. But it doesn't make sense. Yeah. A little. No, 100%. It's I know like it's kind of in my own words, but. <clears throat> I think just the 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 thing I was getting at is just the, um, yeah, I guess if you're, if you don't start off on that foot, then you can't expect things to get better, get better or go anywhere. That's a beautiful point too, Mike. Yeah. What if like all the things I'm going through for now are like, and I'm getting to a good place and I'm yeah. feeling good. It is setting me up for a better future. Yeah, that's true. And what if I just, instead I was spreadsheet Dave yeah. and that future di just disappears, bro. Yeah. There's something about that in the Bible. It's like, fear not. It says fear not a ton, but it's like, he keeps saying like, I'm storing up like a future for you. Like you have no idea, brother. You mm. couldn't plan it. I got you. Trust me. Just trust me. Trust, to have faith, to believe, to trust, to let go of the, the, the steering wheel and to say, okay, if you got me, I'm going to enjoy what you put in front of me today. What you set at my table today I'm going to enjoy this meal with who's with me right now. And I'm going to laugh, man. And I'm going to really listen. And I'm going to really enjoy, bro. I'm going to, I'm going to lick my fingers like with this meal, bro. That's how I live life. I'm trying to live life now, bro. Yeah. Get farted on. You, you keep it moving, dude. You take in what happened. You, you forgive. You move on. You yeah. move on. Yeah, I agree. I hope. Yeah. But you got to hope for something. Yeah. That's my hope. Heck yeah, man. I just keep taking one day at a time what's given to me. I push. I work when I got to work. I fight for things when I believe in them. I fight. I dig. I set my feet in the ground when I have to, when I have to set a boundary or whatever. I forgive when I have to. I love when, I, when I'm called to. I pick up the phone for people and I, and I reach like you were saying you did. I think that you're moving towards a, a great future, bro. And that, like one thing you just did. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing to do, man. Yeah.
If you didn't, I think a part of your future, it just diverts. It just goes somewhere else. Yeah. Maybe not for what could have been cool. Yeah, I agree. Who knows? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Let me throw a little video I have. Throw it up, bro. <clears throat> that I want to... It, it's kind of random, I guess. But I was watching... Um, <clears throat> I don't know why um, the... You know L Cool J? Love L.O. I love L.O. too. He did Mama a, said, knock you out. Yeah, dude. He put out a new album. I'm gonna knock. And it was awesome. Really? Crazy. And dude, he's j j j jacked Oh, he's always been. Always been. You should watch the video for Passion. He just like, it's, and it's, he's dope. He's really good. Um, but I saw he did a Breakfast Club interview. <laughs> okay. And um, there's, he, he was saying some shit that I was like, bro, this is like, I was so like hyped on hearing it. Uh-huh. Like, and I want to just bring it today because I feel like it's so good. He's talking about just like, I'll just play it and, and we'll see what you think. Sounds I want to see what you think. Yeah, yeah. If you was born to do it, you'd never lose. Mm -hmm. There's no way to lose. I already won. Like, you, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I love it, dog. See, it's not, see, okay, I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. May he rest in power. Uh, someone like Fat Man Scoop. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the the joy that you bring to people through your music mm. is mm. incalculable. Mm -hmm. See, we really, people, people are really, and look, I got money, I'm a wealthy guy. People really put a lot of, and I understand it, put a lot of emphasis on money, 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 mm -hmm. and status, 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 oh, status. No. And I get it. Image is important, people, I, I get it. But what people don't put enough value on is the joy of life mm -hmm. and living well and having a good time and enjoying what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And that means something. That's what we're saying. That's a different type of wealth. Let's preach. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's like, that's really, really important. Like, i give you an example. If you have a great relationship with your mother, mm -hmm. it's not a dot, it's not transactional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you still love her. Right. And it's still the most important. You, you, you know, when you see that smile, when you see that that joy, when you see the warmth of your mom, when you walk in that door, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe it's your dad, or Teddy. maybe it's your big sister, or it's unk, or mm -hmm. it's auntie, whoever it is. Like, though that matters too. So if you can find that joy in your life, in your career, mm -hmm. and you can find that joy in other areas of your life, that's a true, mm -hmm. beautiful thing. So I didn't lose nothing. Nothing. I gained everything. So you know what I'm saying? Like all of the money comes, all of the fame and the for all that stuff comes, but you still got to enjoy the moment. That's right. For the moment's sake. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's all there is. That's all there is. Yeah, bro. But that's the thing, dude. Thank you, LL Cool J, for yeah, that. Bro. That's He said it so well. I know. What'd that make you think, bro? How'd that make you feel? <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's what we talk about all the time. It is. We just it said really it. It really is. We, we, yeah, man. It just makes me think about, like, I, because the, the negative side of me is like, okay, then what is the point of, like, doing things and try, like, trying to succeed in, like, career and all this shit? Right. You know? Right. But that's not what he's saying. It's like, like, that, 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 that's what I was trying to get at, too, with, like, the curiosity thing of it. It's like, we can be okay like it, it's all like connecting now like having the basic like the baseline of you're okay i'm okay with me i'm okay with fucking whatever i got i'm gonna take that and that's the baseline for the rest of all the things i attach myself to to what whatever i do that's what's important you know and everything that comes from that is the good shit yeah you know but you still have to always recognize that like spot that you start at you know so I don't know. That's, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, and I think I like the way you're what you're saying is like I think it's it's putting more emphasis on identifying all those things, you know, and really trying to like figure out what do you actually really appreciate about what you've built, you know, yeah. in life, and like who do you have, and all these things that you've done is is what does that really mean to 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 you, um, and do you really like? you really feel good about yourself yeah you know yeah like we got to all get to that place yeah dude well said like, yeah mahatma gandhi said something like that about, yeah that's me yeah that's you like you're like gandhi i'm mike gandhi dude <laughs> he said something like 
Mike Gandhi's gonna be my rap man. Mike Gandhi might work. Everything you do in life uh, is meaningless. Does there's no reason for it. It's purposeless. But it's very important that you do it. He said. It's like this contradiction of like we're working towards something. Yeah. But be careful because it's not about the working towards something. It's about the moment. It's about wealth coming from the moment, the relationships that you make as you go. The like that's all fertile ground, but you cannot water that soil and you lose a relationship with your father. That doesn't cost a dime, yeah. but is worth everything. You couldn't work it. You couldn't make enough to 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 equal yeah. the relationship you'd have with your father if you for, if, uh, if you watered that soil instead of ignored it while you were chasing something in the future that's my point you know what i mean yeah like you could work at mcdonald's tomorrow yeah you could work at mcdonald's in 40 years yeah <laughs> like it's always going to be there <laughs> yeah yeah i think the trap is that we fall into ah I don't have enough. I don't have enough. I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Yeah. My spreadsheet doesn't look right like, compared to his. I got to go get the house. I'll go get that yeah. job. And once I get there, then I can breathe. Then I can focus on the moment. Then I can enjoy my life. That's when I'll feel better about myself. Yeah. That's the illusion that money does. You know, it's like, it's a number going up, you know, but like the number can go up however much you want. There's no like number going up in like a relationship. You know, it's like a tangible thing. That's right. It's like a, it's like a, it doesn't have to do with just like your relationship to this like inanimate object. That's right. You know? And you always have that choice. Yeah. You can choose to ignore that, to treat it poorly. Yeah. Or like somehow like manage that like thing to be able to work with all this other shit. Yeah, man. But that's tricky and hard. That's what I think of with my grandpa yeah. that passed. I'm like, I chose to drive by his house. I made that choice. That yeah. was my choice. Yeah. I was chasing something else. I let our relationship dry up. Mm. That's true. I have to live with that. Yeah. And I had a portion of time right before he went to try to like water that soil. And yeah. I did with everything I had. I poured all myself out. Mm. And I'm glad I did. And I was blessed to have that time. It just was like a perfect picture for me of like, and a great reminder from God, there's nothing more important to me, nothing on this earth than the people that he's put in my life, man. Period. Mm. That's it. And I don't care what you think, what they think, what anyone thinks. That's my truth. And I'm, dead set and honest about that and i know that clearly now that's the most important thing to me that's why it's like i don't give a fuck about how how i don't give a fuck how i look to anyone anymore i don't give a, i don't give a fuck no i really don't care i care about like the time i get with the people i have right now it's the most important thing to me bro that is wealth to me i see it clear as day that's my bank account. That's my bank account. Hmm. The Provident Bank or whatever, I'm in like time spent with, with my homies bank, <laughs> with my family bank. I like that. That's my bank, dude. Wow. I love it. That's it. That's my account. Hell yeah, man. Got an account in that. Hell yeah. A fucking checking and savings. <clears throat> you got anything else, dude? I mean, bro. What else you got? I had a question I have a list you. of stuff that's stupid. Well, it's never stupid. That I said is stupid, so... Why did you say it's stupid? Yeah, just to, just to like save yourself. Yeah. Uh, you had a question? Do you forgive yourself or feel forgiven of the things that you feel you've done wrong in your life? Do you move through life forgiven? Knowing that you're not carrying any weight. I am a good guy and I am forgiven of the things I think I've done wrong to others. Or do you carry it around a little bit or a lot of it? I think there's like sometimes a tiny bit I carry around. Mm -hmm. Then I'm like, oh, maybe that one thing could have been very like, I no, no, no. I like, it comes to mind sometimes and I'm like, oh, that was pretty bad, huh? Mm -hmm. Like, why'd I do that? Mm -hmm. But then I think like, well, it ended. So right. what is that really? 
that doesn't really hold anything anymore. You Do know? you feel an urge to try to take an action to gain that? I feel like I already have. You've done it. So it's already like I I I've already done the act of like like um um seeking forgiveness, I guess. Yeah. Is that the right word? Yeah. Seeking forgiveness. So I'm like okay with it. Yeah. You know? Um but I don't know why sometimes it always still comes up. Yeah. Like beat myself probably about that. Being like, oh that was bad. Mm -hmm. But I already like apologized or something. Yeah. But I still do it. I don't know why. Yeah. That's it's fascinating. That's weird right? too, right? Isn't that weird? Yeah. It's not weird. It's just it like you beat yourself is. up over something that was forgiven. I know. <laughs> I know. You're like I wish I did. What does that mean? <laughs> wish I could go back. Yeah. yeah wish that's I didn't. so stupid. It's just like I really wish I just didn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty bad. It's just it is what it yeah. is. Yeah. It's funny. You're a good dude. You're I don't a good know, guy. Maybe. No, you're a good guy. Maybe. You're a great guy. I'm all right, man. <laughs> Listen to yourself I'm when right, I say bro. that. I'm all right. I'm all right, man. You deflect it. Yeah. You, you minimize yeah. it. You can't receive it. I'm cool. Wow. This is interesting. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm, I I know my worth, I guess. Yeah? Yeah. I think I do. Cool. I hope so. I man. just want to spread it more, you know? Fair. That's my mission. Spread it more. Yeah. Uh, did you see the Shannon Sharp thing? <laughs> <laughs> see you I don't your watch podcast, any. Man. Look, you're, I know you're into football, bro. We're it. almost at the end. I love football you. season I love started you so much for bringing this. This up. shit. I don't watch any football. I don't know shit, but I saw this stuff, man. Dude, and I watched. I watched the podcast. Did you see that? <laughs> no, I saw clips of it. Dude, it was hilarious. <laughs> Is Bro. that not one of the greatest fears you'd ever have? Yeah, I guess. Aren't you? F I'd be terrified yeah. if that happened to me, bro. My, I'd feel my stomach go. Yeah, through I wouldn't my like that actually. Oh my god. Yeah, no, dude. There's no way. Like the little things you say. I think I don't even think about it. Oh. That that's how much I'm like. Oh, that would really you ever be, did that, that would really be bad. You ever like replay like for a second? You're like, or, or who you were with was like, did you say this? And I was like, oh, dude. <laughs> If that ever came out, you know what I mean? Like I said that. What a cornball. Oh God. He he was he was he was going oh, in. Oh. Don't play it. I'm not. Yeah, how would you I have it pulled up? No. <laughs> no. Dude, that sucks. It's just so funny. He got fired dude. from ESPN. Didn't that's he? crazy, right? Yeah, they fired his ass right away. Cause of that came out. But that Come that's on. that's that's everyone bugs. It's just business, bro. Not in Disney, you don't. Not in Disney. That's the world we live in, dude. That's nobody has sex up. in Disney. That's so stupid. I know. That's when, you, but but that's when you work for a big corporation. You got to be perfect. Yeah. You got to be. Perfect. Did you see people were like he was doing that because people thought he was gay. <laughs> really? People, because that was I guess that's like a running joke that people think he's like just oh because his clothes and his sweats yeah and stuff. yeah he he's like flamboyant. He's yeah. He likes so he did this on purpose to prove. <laughs> Come on, is that what they said? People he's like, why would say. I? Why would I risk thirty million dollars? Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. over what you think yeah that's sad i think bro. he'll come out stronger he will yeah he will if anything people know he puts in that work you know oh, that's rough though man when you hear it that is rough when you hear yeah. it i'd be mortified what they say there <laughs> the, the the what he was saying was like <laughs> what was the girl's name oh no oh i don't ah, i don't even want to think about it because oh, then i think God. of it in his voice yeah <laughs> the guy was saying Ocho, like, Ocho Cinco was he's like oh I heard it I put, he's like yeah Ocho's like I put my headphones on man I, put, I was listening in he's like take that what dude sick fuck. he's like and he was like that's my Monica oh <laughs> god dude like, I know, how do you hear that bro he's older yeah isn't Shannon Sharp like late he's 50s he's going in bro he's late 50s yeah. he's going in dude I don't want to hear that shit bro I respect it that's the thing about Twitter it's like I think he's dope he's great <laughs> shannon's great and he's got a great podcast yeah i think he's good. honestly i was like very like this is good yeah like, if i was a football guy yeah i'd be all into this no he's shit, bro. he's I'd real deal in. fantastic and the cool thing is that he took like he got fired from espn right yeah he's gonna make more money doing podcast stuff by far 100%. than this bullshit and like the, and be able to be himself like that that the podcast i watched the first like 20 minutes because like he started talking about it later when yeah. he started bringing people yeah, on but yeah. i was like this is just good isn't it talk yeah you know i don't know what's happening but it's kind of making me like dude i might get into football or something hey come on over bro yeah. 
The water. I saw like some of the, the Jets the, won. I saw some of the drama. You know, with the one guy that like, there's a lot of just bad plays. I guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you like know, talk about Caleb football. Williams? A lot of bad plays. A lot of bad plays. Maybe we can have a football segment. We could. If you if you jump on the train, bro. Mm. I'm sick. I know like too much. Shit. Really? Yeah. Damn. It's a whole fantasy world that I don't know shit, man. All that. Yeah, I don't know. You'd fall in because you get obsessed with things. Yeah. You get really involved in things. There's something about like, there's something about sports that makes me be like. (laughs) What is it about sports? Tell me, tell me. What is it like? Be real. Dudes that are just like, (laughs) let's go, Joy. Let's go, Joy. Give me my beer. You know, like, fucking dude. You're 45. (laughs) 45 and an alcoholic. (laughs) <laughs> your kids like in the room crying stop stop doing that <laughs> sunday's for football dude you ever go on wife's like <laughs> wife's I... like jerry shut the fuck up <laughs> it's football night in the man cave back in the kitchen get out <laughs> make the buffalo dip there is if you ever and this is what I do when there's a fight, a boxing match, whatever. And I'm I'm alone, so I'm not paying for like the fights. What wife's asleep? Yeah. I didn't go out with my cut, whatever. Yeah. I'll go on TikTok live. <laughs> Did you ever get on TikTok? No, live? no, no. So people will be streaming the fo- like they'll put put their phone up like they're in a yeah. movie theater in the nineties, yeah, like yeah. you know, bootleg. Oh, like with the video, yeah, the, the, exactly. the game. They're, they're they're just doing this right, and you hear everything they're doing in the room. And dude, there was one where people I was going to eat it. I, I'm trying to watch like Cody Garbrandt like fight in the championship fight, and the the camera's like this on the couch. I remember we used to work at the cafe. You'd, you'd and watch. I stream yeah, on the yeah, TikToks. Yeah. And uh, going to jail. I'm going to jail. Uh, I didn't do it. They did it. Uh, yeah, but so, so I'm watching the fights. This one dude, I'll never forget. He had a bait, like a like a one year old, <laughs> like less than a one year old, ten month old. And the mother's like, "All right, I'm going to bed. You watch the baby." And he's streaming the fight. He's cursing, whatever. He falls asleep. All of a sudden, you hear. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to like watch the fight and enjoy the fight. All here. Oh is, man! And the baby's just like <laughs> waddling around. I'm like, bro, wake up! I'm like, wake up! <laughs> How do you wake this fool up, just, dude? Your baby's gonna get into some shit, bro. TikTok Live's a oh, scary man. place, dude. Oh, we got to get on there. We got to get more active. We should, yeah. On the TikTok. So that's like a whole, oh man, live, live streaming. Speaking of live stream. Hey, bring it back. Tell them. Tell hey, the dude. people. We're bringing it. We're just going to test VR. Right now. Streaming right now right after this. Right this second. And we have we're a whole room to do it. I'm very fucking yeah. nervous, but I'm excited for this you. This is sick. Because I feel like I'm going to get some clips. I got to prove myself. I'm going to get some I really got to fucking prove myself today. Have you been like mentally preparing? No, I really haven't. You're, uh, this is going to be fun. But yes. I think I can lock in. Okay. I think I can lock in. Let's do it. If I try to lock in, like I know kind of the controls and shit, I'll, like, I'll lock in. No screaming, no. no I know there's. The I know the, the problem is. You want to know where I know where I'm gonna pinch? Where the pinch is? It's gonna be when I run out of bullets and the thing is still alive. <laughs> That's when I know I'm gonna be like, stop working. <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's what I know. That's what I know. Right. You know. Yeah, bro. Let's see. Do I have anything else? Anything else, dude? I have one question for you. I have a bunch of stuff, but Kendrick Super Bowl. Kendrick Super Bowl. I think bro. it's gonna be dope. I think it's cool. A lot of people very... Did you think he would have done it if he didn't have the beef with Drake? Probably not. Probably not, right? Yeah. So this is Maybe good. Maybe eventually. He did it before, like, Has part. He? he was uh, he did it for, like, Dr. Dre. Oh, of course. And he... It was awesome. Yeah, of course. Uh, look, he had the best-selling tour. Yeah. Uh, rappers. He put. He's a showman. He puts on a show. It's perfect, I think. Better than Travis Scott? Tra- Better than... Travis Scott could probably have a cool one, too. Kanye Wiz. Dude, a Kanye Super Bowl would be so fucking cool. <laughs> that would be so cool, bro, if Kanye wasn't crazy. Dude, he'll never. Yeah. They'll never. That'd be do so that. sick, though. He would, do, he would do something crazy, too. <sighs> imagine, though? You know he'd do something off script. Yo, but imagine. I know, but he'd do something off script. If it was, like, classic songs, oh, it'd be over. man. It'd be over, man. I'm surprised he didn't get one. Before he should yeah. have. Yeah, before he went off the deep end. The whole Lil Wayne thing. Yeah, he's upset. Yeah. You see that video? I feel him though. It's you see that video? Right? It's so sad. I didn't see. I don't know why he did. You didn't watch the video? It was like him filming yeah. himself. Yeah. He was like, I'm, I'm upset. It was sad. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, he's a legend. Sad. Dude, he's a legend. 
Yeah. He should have gotten But also, there. like, what? You're going to be at the Super Bowl stadium, like, le, 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 like a lollipop. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. know. I, I don't know. Understand. You know what I mean? <laughs> His music's a little dated, though. It's a little dated. No, I think Lil Wayne's dope. But I just don't think, like, <laughs> if I had to pick that or Shall that. Shall we want to Yeah. Remember? In the club. Dude, I remember, like. It was fire. I used to think that was I think lot shit. Forever? Oh. Forever. Come on, man, dude! That the the mixtapes, all of it. He was fantastic. What's your first like Lil Wayne song? Oh my god, it was like, it was a Biggie Smalls off the mixtape mm. uh, cover, like he sampled a Biggie Smalls yeah. song. Oh, what was it? Sky's the limit. Yes. Oh hell yeah, dude. Oh, when I heard that yeah. mixtape and that song, I was like, this is it. I this remember it. I got into rap a little late, but uh. <laughs> it was uh the Eminem album. Mm. Um I think Revival. Oh my god. The one where he's like on the road. Yeah, that is reco- I don't know. Re- I don't know. It's no, like it's a re- recovery revival. I don't fucking know. No, recovery had different I think a different thing. Like. But it was uh like space bound. Space bound. Space bound. <laughs> Dude, come on. Bro. Or to no love. No love. Oh yeah. Dude. The first Eminem Shit songs I was hearing, we were at we were at the <laughs> summer camp yeah. at the rec center in Elma Park, New Jersey, and JP would get out of his mom's car, and he had a CD player, you know, with like the, the headphones and everything yeah. attached, and he had the fucking- No. The first Eminem oh. CD, and we'd play- I remember like him talking about Kim killing Kim. I was like nine. Holy shit. And we were blasting that shit, yeah. and I was like, dude, this is fucking awesome. Yeah. Like- violent fucking Ugh. murdering his wife dis- dismembering her crazy shit i remember probably my fr- probably first this is probably like one of the first hip-hop memories i had was probably uh the on um what is it called uh mtv oh. music videos and shit <laughs> the without me the music video was that, oh, that's the first me. thing i heard uh, probably yeah uh, uh, and i was like what the fuck is going on here uh, 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 this shit's crazy and like i uh, 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 took years for me though feels so empty with that. yeah oh yeah that was that was fire that was big that was at a roller <sighs> rink that shit, dude. yeah i was like i was rolling around as it was a summer camp and, oh. and and eminem song was playing and i remember i was like this is it this is what it, this would be in a kid's all about and i was trying all hands with lauren it didn't work. That's what I was going to say, man. It didn't work. <sighs> she liked me, but we Summer were... camp. Imagine like you had a good summer camp, like Kiss. I never did. <sighs> I missed it, dude. She liked me, too. Damn. I was too scared, though. Lauren. Lauren got away, dude. Man. Wasn't meant for me. Yeah. She's doing well. Nice. God bless. God bless, dude. Um, I have other stuff, but... You know, I don't... All right. Let's get into VR. It's like OnlyFans girl and like all this shit. It's Let's like, not well, take I don't it there. Do that. Let's not take right. it there, bro. We don't get Let's do take that. it out of here, bro. Thank you guys for guys. for liking and subscribing. If you haven't, go ahead and do it. I love you. We love you so much. Anytimeactualife.com. Go check it out. Uh, oh, hey, and go ahead and careercoaching.com. Patreon.com slash your podcast. There it is. Guys, my name is Mike. And I'm signing up. My name is Dave. I love y'all. Please be kind to yourself. Please be kind to one another. <laughs> Real talk. Oh, I don't want to look at this.